Hello, friends. Thank you, Nicole. And thank you for being here today. As Nicole said, today we're doing our squeegees magic, magic reveal art kits. So I have three out of six of them sitting right here in front of me. And they are all different themes. So this one here, I will do the top down. This is the mermaid kit. We have our butterfly kit. And we have our outer space kit. So I'm already asking you for your advice. Which of these themes would you like to see us do today during our class? Our outer space, our butterfly, or our mermaid? So if you wanna answer, if you'd like your vote to be heard, go ahead and type it in and my, my friend Michelle here, she'll let us know which one we'll do today. Oh, we already see. One vote in, we've got butterfly, please. One. And thank you for saying me. Thank you, yeah. Okay, so we have butterfly. Let's see, does anyone else wanna see a different one or is butterfly it? Think butterfly is it? Okay, so let's go ahead and open up our box and see what's inside. Okay, so of course we have our squeegee tool and our squeegee tool is this special little tool, it's got like a rubber type of tip on here and it's clear so you can kind of see the paint as you squeegee it across your paper. We have our handy dandy instructions. We have our paints and our little easy squeeze tubes. We have our foil stickers, so shiny. Ooh. And we have our magic reveal design sheets. You're given three magic reveal sheets that are kind of like a card stock. And you're given a pad of practice paper, which is a little bit lighter of a paper. And then you're given, let's see, one, two, three, four. I think you're given four sheets of blank cardstock for you to create your own squeegees. So we'll put all that aside for right now and we'll open up our instructions here. Okay, so anytime we work with paint, um, we like to put down a little bit of paper just so we don't create a mess. And actually, I'm just going to use this paper here. All right, so tear a sheet of paper from the pad, from the practice paper pad, and we're going to just go in, jump in, and start right away. So Here's our practice pad. I'm gonna tear off one sheet and put it right here on my surface that I'm working on. Now, this art form, it's very, it's not very exact. So practicing will definitely be a good idea just because it's something new and something to kind of explore what works for you and what you enjoy doing. So I'm just gonna put a dot of color across the top of this page and then pull it down and see what it looks like. Before I do that, I wanna um, set myself up here for um, cleaning up, making cleaning up a little bit easier. So I have a paper towel here and I'm putting it over a plate, but if you have a paper plate, that will work too. And I actually have a plastic for a uh, plastic knife and a little fork here. 
And these I just use to help clean off my squeegee. And if you don't have those, that's okay. You can always just take a paper towel and you can just get the paint off of your squeegee that way too. But since I had these on hand, I figured I could use those. And then I have some extra paper towels just in case. Okay, so like I was saying, I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of paint across like a little dot across the top of my page. And just like that much, because a little bit does go a long way. And I'll hold up my paper so you can see what that much means. That much. And orange. Pink. So for, like I said earlier, each of these kits has their own theme. So that means that each kit has their own paint palette, like colors of paint, and they have their own stickers. So in each kit, you'll get different paints and different stickers and different magic reveal art that will appear when you drag the paint across it. Okay, so this is what this looks like. I have my yellow, orange, pink, blue, and green. And all I'm going to do is hold the paper with my left hand because I'm right-handed. And I'm going to pull the paint down, maybe squiggle it a little bit, just to see what it looks like. Ooh. Okay. And so that's how easy it is to squeegee. So you can see it created these beautiful waves of color. Now I'll show you, I do have extra paint on my squeegee. So with the extra paint, you can always grab another piece of practice paper, or if you want, you can just flip your paper over and see what it looks like if you did it on the opposite side of your paper, if it draws any more color out. Ooh. And sometimes magical things like this happen where the pink went over the blue and it created that pretty purple here and here. And sometimes you get these really cool color combinations like that. So since this is our practice paper, I'll just put it over here to dry it. Now, I do have this paint left over and I don't want it on my squeegee. So I'm going to take the back of my knife, the not sharp part of my knife, and just scrape off the paint like that and put it on my paper towel like that. If you still have paint on your squeegee, you can just take a paper towel and wipe it off. There we go. And now we're all set for our next squeegee. All right, so let's go ahead and practice again. So I'm gonna take my paper. And this time I'm gonna create a little bit of a pattern and I'm gonna put the paint a little closer together. And why I'm gonna do that is because you can see where I put the paint here, 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 and here. It didn't touch, it didn't overlap until way down here. And I want it to overlap a little bit sooner on my paper. So, I'm going to do yellow on each end, a little bit more, and work my way in. So a little yellow on each end, and then orange, and then pink.
blue. And while I'm putting my paint on, I'm kind of thinking to myself, what if these colors were to overlap? What would it look like if the pink and blue overlap? And like I just mentioned, that would create purple. And I'm cool with that. But you do have to watch. Sometimes your paint might mix and you don't like the color, but that's okay because this is all about experimenting. All right, so this is what my paint dollops look like, all my little pink dots. So I have yellow, orange, pink, blue, and then green. And just like before, I'm just gonna hold it at the top, put our squeegee on, and pull down. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay. <laughs> I like this one way much better. <laughs> So practicing is very helpful. Um, I just think it looks like a unicorn's tail or a unicorn's mane. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Okay, so just like the last time, there's still paint on our squeegee. So I'm going to use that paint. And this time I'm going to try something. I'm going to try using one of my stickers like a stencil. So I'm gonna take, I'm actually gonna take one of my nice pieces of paper and put my sticker on the paper. I'm gonna do a butterfly. So I'm gonna just put the butterfly here and then I'm gonna squeegee over it. So I didn't put any paint at the top. I'm just gonna use the paint that's already on my squeegee. So it may not make it all the way down here, but that's okay because again, we're just experimenting. So, ooh. All right, that's real cool too. Okay, so as you can see, that sticker looks really pretty right there. But if you wanted it to act as a stencil, you would actually just peel the sticker off. Let's see if I can do this. Here we go. And now you have like a stencil of the sticker. You have a stencil of the butterfly and then you can add the butterfly sticker up here. So pretty cool. Okay. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I love squeegee arting. This is so fun. So I can't wait to show you the next thing, which is the surprise reveal. So let's clean off our squeegee. I'm just gonna scrape off the extra paint, put it right over here. And if you would like to use your extra paint, you have it all in one spot right here. And of course, just wipe off any extra off of your squeegee with a paper towel. Okay, so our squeegee's all clean and ready for our actual design sheets. So, these design sheets, if you kind of tilt them a little bit in the light, you can kind of see what the design is. But you don't know what it's going to look like when you put color over top. And that is where the fun is. So I'm going to go ahead and do our first one here. And I really like how it turned out when I put the colors kind of close together and in a pattern, so I'm gonna do that again. So I'm gonna start with, maybe I'll do pink on the outside this time. All right, and again, you wanna start putting your paint down um, so you have enough room to hold your paper with your thumb or with your fingers. So like, I always start putting the paint down about an inch. 
Otherwise, it's really hard to hold on to the paper. All right, pink, yellow. And these are just my experiment colors. You can put your dots of color however you would like. So if you don't wanna do a pattern, that's okay. You can put your, your paint dollops on however you think it's gonna look cool. And of course, how you squeegee, like how you move the squeegee across your paper, that's definitely going to um, impact your design. It's going to create the lines that come from squeegeeing paint. There's a little bit of green and a little bit of blue. And I have room for a little bit more pink. So I'm a pink girl. I'll just put that pink right in there. Boop. Yay! All right, check it out. This is what it looks like. Ooh. I love it. All right, so I think how I'm gonna pull my pink down Instead of just going straight down, I'm going to do one of the like kind of like wavy, wavy holes because I love how that looks. So let's hold on to our paper. And we're going to, ooh, wah. Okay. Ta da! <laughs> I love so cool. <laughs> so I don't know if my camera is picking up the colors as much as it could, but it looks so neat. So I have all of those colors on my squeegee still. So I'm going to go ahead and use another one of my design sheets. You can kind of see the design on here. And I'm going to do a rainbow pull on this one, which means I'm just going to start over on one side and pull the squeegee like in an arch, like in a rainbow shape across the, the, the paper. So here we go. Ooh. <laughs> It's just so cool when the design appears. All right, ta-da! Okay, look how cool that looks. That looks so pretty. So this one is the, um, the rainbow pole. And you can set up like one of your practice sheets and you can put like paint just on one side and pull the squeegee around just like I did for this one. And it looks so cool. I would just do rainbow squeegees for like a day. It looks so cool. Okay. And I do still have paint on here, but I don't think I'm going to do my last design yet. I think I'm just going to use this paint on a practice piece of paper. Put those over here. And actually, I'm going to put down another piece of paper to pull on because I put my squeegee down. All right. So let's just go ahead and pull this one. I'm going to do a little zigzaggy because that looks pretty neat too. Sometimes you get these like cool tie dye effects. This one kind of looks like a mermaid tail. You can see, but it's, it's kind of cool looking. All right, and then we'll clean off our squeegee.
And since I mentioned it, I think I'll show you guys how to do that cool um, rainbow pull. So. All right, I'll use a practice sheet. I'll just put a new paper up. And of course, with all of these practice sheets, once they dry, if you want to reuse the paper, just flip it over and you can use the other side of the paper and do some more practice pulls. And if they turn out awesome, then um, pretend it's not a practice pull and just hang it up like it's your actual art. So that's fun too. All right. Now to set up the rainbow, I'm only going to put paper um, paint on one half of the paper. And so far we've been having our paper vertical and putting our paint up top. Well, this time we're gonna have it horizontal and put our paint at the bottom. And before I put the paint down, I am gonna show you just for practice reasons, how you're going to hold your squeegee. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna turn your whole wrist around. I know it's kind of hard to see. So your squeegee is like this. And then you're kind of gonna pivot this inside part of your squeegee and just like, like make an arch like that. So you're pulling all of that paint around like that to make a rainbow. So, okay, let's do it. I'm gonna have green in the center. So green and blue. I like putting the green and the blue together because I always hope that it blends and makes a pretty teal color. And so sometimes it does. And yellow. And orange. And pink. And we have all of our colors now. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the paper right here. I'm going to position my squeegee, like I said, let me show you, right here. You might have to hold it down. And we're just gonna pull our paint in a rainbowy shape. Yay! Ta -da! Now, for all of these designs, you can wait until they dry, and then you can add some stickers to them to jazz them up with some, like, cool glitteriness. Or you could draw, you could, like, use your markers or crayons and draw, like, clouds or little stars or maybe a unicorn or something like that. So all of these beautiful pulls of color can become amazing backgrounds for your drawings. So maybe you do want to keep your little practice papers and reuse them for things like that. Or even like a card, you could just fold this in half. I think this is dry by now. It is. So you could just fold this in half. Because this is cardstock. It is a heavier paper. And look at that. We have this beautiful little greeting card you could add a message to and give to your friend or, or to someone. There you go. Okay, cool. Do we have any questions so far? Doesn't look like it. So we'll keep going. We'll do one more. This is our butterfly our butterfly design, actual butterfly design.
And then I'm going to check out our instructions and just make sure that I didn't miss anything. So we talked about, ooh, our rainbow. Uh, this one has little dots. This technique, you put dots throughout the paper, which is kind of cool. This one, you only use a couple colors. You don't use all of them. We did talk about using the stickers before and after as a decoration. I think we covered everything. Okay, except for displaying. So when you are done with your beautiful picture, actually this one's not done because I wanna put some stickers on it. We'll add a sunshine. This is perfect. The sunshine is perfect for this one. The sunshine right here. And I think I'll put a little butterfly over here. This butterfly, the sideways butterfly. And I love these stickers because they are so sparkly. Where do you wanna be? You wanna be here. Okay. So now that's a little bit more finished because we have some beautiful stickers on there. Um, when you want to hang this up, if you want to hang it up, we give you this little bit of sticky tack and it's white. So it shouldn't um, stain any surface that you put it on, but do have um, an older friend or your parent try it out in a spot that, you know, no one cares if it doesn't come off, but it should come off because it's just sticky tack. So just put a little bit of sticky tack in the corners of your artwork. Boop, boop, sticky tack it like that. And with the sticky tack, it should easily come off your wall or your refrigerator or wherever you put it. And then you can, um, then, it, then it'll be hung up and displayed. So everyone can see and be like, oh my God, how did you do that? And then you would be like, oh, I did this with a squeegee. They'd be like, what? I thought that was just for washing windows. No, it's for painting. So we'll put that aside. Okay. Our last one, and this design I can already tell is a horizontal design. But just because it's horizontal doesn't mean you have to pull your squeegee horizontal. You could arrange it so you're pulling down. And it's actually more comfortable for me to pull down. So I'm going to add my paint up here to the top. Well, what is the top of our paper like that? So, all right, let's go with a lot of orange because like I said, this one's our butterfly. So I'm gonna put three dollops of orange. One, two, and three. And then I'll work from there. So I'll put maybe one, two, three, four dollops of yellow. And I don't think I'm gonna use the green this time. Or maybe I won't use the blue. Let's see. We'll see what it looks like. Pink, pink. Yeah, I think I, I won't use the green this time. I think I'll just use the blue. Blue and blue. All right, so there's a bit of a space here. I didn't do that on purpose, but that's okay because the way I'm going to pull the paint down, it should blend together just fine. So if you have a piece of paper, like your work paper that you're working on, and it doesn't, um, and it's kind of short, like mine is kind of short, just make sure that you have it set so when you pull the paint, um, the paper's down here. So it'll catch any overflow of paint down here. 
All right, we'll put our finger up here to hold it in place. And we'll do our pull. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love these rainbows. Okay, here you go. And this is what this one looks like. Awesome. So this is what squeegee art is all about. And it's very addictive. Like I could keep doing this all day long, especially since you have paint left over on your squeegee. So you can do another pull. So I'm going to do that right now. So sometimes you just want to do a big old magical color mix like that. And then, like I said, you can fold it in half and make it into a greeting card. You could cut out shapes and string them and make little ornaments of beautiful colors like this. You can do whatever you want, but the gist is you're creating all these gorgeous color smears and it's fun to do. So, all right. Michelle, do you have any thoughts, any questions, any, any, any things? No, this is just so fun to watch because each and every time is just so unique. It is, definitely. All right, well, if our um, viewers out there do not have any questions, like I mentioned, what we did today was our butterfly designs, but we do have five other themes, including mermaid, outer space, and we have dragon, kawaii, and unicorn. So those are our other three. Um, I'm so happy that you guys could join us today. And thank you. I, I really hope that you can join me next time when we do another fun craft. So thank you for joining us and I hope you have fun with your squeegee art. Bye-bye.